Alright, we're gonna show you how fast it is and free to catch free bait. What the wall? Oh, look at that big. This one's huge! Today we're going to kick it back on the beach with some really simple, easy fishing techniques that I learned growing up. Normally I'm targeting extremely hard to catch game fish like snook or tarpon, but today I just wanted to keep it simple and do a video for everybody, even the beginner. Flat sand over here, and then right here, all these little, these are all sand fleas digging holes. All right, we're gonna show you how fast it is and, and free to catch free bait. There we go. First try. That is what we're looking for. Oh, there's like three or four of them in there. Look at them. These are called sand fleas. Um, I'm sure there's a bunch of other names for them. Sand crabs. But they are out here by the hundreds and they're free bait and they're really good bait to use at the beach. So this is how you uh, hook a sand flea, it's super easy. You start going through the bottom of the sand flea and coming out the top. Just like the... And always make sure to come through the middle of the shell so you get, it stays on well. And that's, that's how you want it to look. Ready to cook. Fish on. Good one. Woo. Oh yeah, that's the biggest whiting of the day so far. Look at that guy. Be really careful with multiple hooks like this. But look at that. There he is. It's a whiting. Be careful, they have spines on their fins right here. See that? Uh -huh. Kind of sharp, but yeah, hold on. Oh! Whoa. They're they're slippery, I'm sorry. Oh, you're using those crabs? Yeah. We, they, have, we have many of them. They're good. They love them. You want me to get you one? I actually have a bunch right here in my pocket. You have one, I have one? Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, they're so cute. Where are mine? <laughs> Oh yeah! Those kids are wanting to see the, the little guy. Nice little whiting. The regulations on whiting, I believe, are 12 inches, so that guy was a little too small. Not fishing for keeps today or anything though. All right, let's try to catch another one. the Cast King Valiant Eagle. It's actually a really decent saltwater reel. As long as you keep the drag dry is the main thing. Keep your drag lubricated well. Woo! I'm like hopping over these waves so the chest cam doesn't get wet. Sometimes, you know, we'll be past your chest out here.
think I lost the sand fleet. But that's why you get a bunch of free ones. <laughs> and you don't have to really worry about losing them. There he is. Oh. Come on, come back for it. Come back for it. Whoa. <clears throat> this is where you gotta go to get the bites, guys. Fish on. Oh. Oh, I had one. As far as I can. Hopefully dodge these breakers. Alright, now I think I'm... For you guys. Ooh! This is really deep right here. Hopefully the GoPro doesn't go underwater too, too much right here. But yeah, using these little, little rods, you can feel the bites pretty easily. You can feel a lot of little tiny nibbles. They feel like bluegill nibbles or something really tiny like a bluegill or a pinfish. Um, anything, just really, really small nibbles. But every once in a while you'll get a bigger version of that and that's your keeper pompano or your keeper whiting. I'm just having fun out here and I am just doing it to demonstrate the technique because when you're out here with family, you know, the beach fishing can be pretty bad sometimes, but this is one of the surefire ways that you can catch fish all year round on the beach. Well, now I can't even see with my sunglasses. Uh, this is starting to come back, guys. I have to continue this video on a sunny day. <coughs> Really the ideal conditions you want for surf fishing out here, especially for the pompano and the, and the uh, whiting, is you want calm conditions. This is not calm at all. <laughs> so you want calm, calm and hot conditions, typically for this. I've got three more samples on. That's an hour. tight in the water or I'll bounce it back to me. I'll just kind of give the, the rod tip some really light bounces and I'll slowly reel and bounce back in. Nice hit, come on, come on. There he is, there he is. Oh yeah, another little baby lighting. Not that big. You can catch these anywhere in Florida. Crushed it. Look at that sample you just now. Yeah, it's a 
main fish you'll catch with sand fleas right here. And that and pompano as well. Mainly seen a bunch of whiting today. And we did catch pompano earlier. We go for release on this guy. There he is. That's a big one actually. Biggest one so far. Alright. Biggest one of the day so far. Whoa! That was bad. That was not a good release. What's going on? Almost not full. What's going on guys? Um, just wanted to go over quickly the rod and reel setup that I was using. Um, typically pompano fishermen or whiting fishermen, any surf fishermen in general, um, will be using a 9 foot, 10 foot, even 12 foot rod um, and that basically lets you get the bait out far. The type of um, surf fishing that I was doing, um, basically not casting nearly that far and I'm using a 7.6. So it does cast pretty far, but not as far as a typical surf rod would. Um, 7.6, and it's a medium light action rod with 10 pound braid on the Casting 2000 Valiant Eagle. Um, super, super good setup for ultralight flats fishing, and I like using it on the beach as well. So you can loosen your drag, and you can really let the fish have a chance to fight a little bit. And then at the business end, we've got some 20 pound monofilament leader and some extra stinger hooks along the leader. And at the bottom, we have a banana jig or a pompano jig to get it down as well. And I try to bait all the hooks because they get taken off rather quickly in the surf, especially when there's a lot of whiting pompano around. The smaller ones will typically rip your baits off first, but that is what's so fun about using sand fleas because there is unlimited free bait. Just dig in the sand, catch more bait for free. Really hope you all enjoyed the video today, guys. Um, try to stay tuned for the next one. I'm gonna be doing a video at least once a week. Um, also, these are the Feltman Fishy Co. This is a 1.5 ounce chartreuse in red. Chartreuse green and red, 1.5 ounce with the standard head. We also have some 3D eyeball heads as well, different head style design, both available in eight aught hooks. These hooks are absolutely unbendable guys, they're ridiculously strong. So giant tarpon with these, giant redfish. Definitely make sure to check them out guys, I'm gonna have a link in the description below. Just select the bait, the size you want, and uh, the color as well. So if you want this color in particular, chartreuse and red, and we also have chartreuse and blue available as well, both really, really good nighttime colors for big snook. So that being said guys, this is a really, really, really good time of year to throw these flare hawks. That's the only reason that I'm putting that out there right now. I'm gonna get to fishing, tying more of these things and getting out in the water. So I'll see you guys next week.